how to get a good boyfriend or girlfriend. It's not just a boyfriend and a girlfriend. You know, a lot of us have boyfriends and girlfriends, but a good one. Let's talk about why we get a bad boyfriend or girlfriend. The truth is this. We attract them. We attract who we are. So who we are comes from our past experiences, your past experiences. The way you saw your father and mother have their relationships and your, rela your relatives and your friends and neighbors and so on. And then you get into your own relationships too. And in life, there are more bad than good, more bad experiences than good. Unfortunately, that's the way the world is designed today. And therefore, it's easy for us to be exposed to bad experiences, bad relationship experiences. And so that gets drummed into our unconscious. So other people's experiences, our own experiences, all of them are now embedded in our nervous system. Of course, they're good experiences too. But here we're talking about why we attract not so good relationships. So with all this stuff inside us, these bad memories inside us, we begin to vibrate that. And so that's where the law of attraction works. You attract the kind of people we are. You attract the kind of person, people you are. So you know what people say, I don't know why I have all the losers in my life. I get all the, you know, scumbags coming into my life. The truth is, you look at yourself in the mirror, you attract people like you. That's how it is. So now, to the crux of the question, how do you attract good relationships? You gotta work on yourself. People say you gotta change yourself and then you will, you know, things will change. But what does that mean? In our training in Life University, we do processes, we don't just give advice. You would come to our training in the first one, which we call Finding Life, Purpose and Passion. In that program, what we do is to teach you stuff that is going on inside you for you to go take it out, put it on paper, and then we put you through processes in the class over three days to clean you up, to take all the bad experiences and find the gem in every experience. And when that happens, you cleanse yourself. You become that person you originally were. And we don't just do that. We even take it a notch higher. We don't just make the bad good. We don't make the bad good to great. So when you are great, you, you have all these experiences that were bad, now it is great to you, your biology changes. That's right. When your biology changes, your vibration changes, and then you begin to attract good people into your life because you have become a sort of empowered, clean, resourceful person. So when I say work on yourself, it's like reading a book, attending a program, the right kind of program. And then you would notice that people around you who are bad may just go away because they can't handle you. Not because of what you say, okay? It's just a feeling. It's a vibration. And people who are bad in your life, maybe brother, sister, maybe your wife, they will turn into good without you having to say anything. Okay? So explore this. Change yourself. Be who you want to be. Be who you want to attract into your life. You have, need to have a criteria. Who are the kind of people you want in your life? And then you ask yourself, am I like that? If you're not like that, you've got to change yourself first. If you don't know how to do it, come on board. Thank you. And some of us may have heard this and you might have some questions popping in your mind. If you would like to ask those questions, do visit us at the sign at Live Uni, or you click on this for you to post your questions. And if you don't want to miss the show, subscribe right here. Thank you. See you again.